All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. All right, let's start rolling, guys. This is going to be a longer video because I'm doing three knives in one video. This is going to be an overview of three different OTF knives, all from TAC Knives. They all come in these cool boxes here, like a, a you know, kind of Pelican kind of case. Really nice. Uh, fantastic. Now, uh, TAC Knives is actually new to me, TAC Knives. These come... By way of my buddy Lefty EDC, uh, thank you Kevin and the Lefty Pass Around group. It was funny the other day, uh, Kevin actually uh, acknowledged for the first time that he has a uh, Pass Around group. We've all known that for quite some time. <laughs> so let's start uh, and go through these one at a time because I think that'll just be the easiest way to go. Uh, and then we'll kind of uh, do comparisons on all of them. This one right here. And by the way, let's just get rid of the elephant in the room right away. Everybody's going to say, I don't like the carbon fiber. Or in this case, I believe this is laminated carbon fiber over G10. Not sure, but that's sure what it looks like. Yes. I will start off by saying, TAC knives, these are priced really well. But, I mean, you got to be able to put micarta or G10 as an inlay or something uh, that, you know, and keep the price low that looks better than this fake carbon fiber. That's that's all. Um, now, this one's got a black wash blade, uh, a crazy Warncliffe. Now, all three of these have this awesome-looking Warncliffe, really techy-looking, really modern. Uh, you got the black uh, aluminum, and then you've got a silver slide here, and you've got a uh, loop-over, excuse me, not a loop-over, a uh, bent uh, steel clip uh, that is not loop over so you end up with about that much sticking out of your pocket now they've done kind of a uh, skull cracker slash man my lighting is really bugging me in this video I'm sorry guys that's why I keep adjusting everything you can reverse the clip and they've got like what could be a glass breaker but it's flat and kind of rounded so it's more like a skull cracker than a uh, than a um, uh, a glass breaker, but it would work to bre break glass. Um, pocket clip, good in and out of the pocket, no issues, good retention. Everything is finished well. You got kind of jimping here on the molded, uh, I mean, on the on the milled uh, aluminum scales. Now, the action on this one is really nice. Uh, you have a flat button both to come in and out, so it's good for lefties and righties. No problem whatsoever there. Um, now, silver screws on a black knife, I don't know, you know. Uh, I kind of would have probably rather seen blackout. Uh, but since they went with a silver button, I guess it's kind of like, you know, a, a kind of an offset uh, kind of, you know, con contrast kind of thing. Now, I will say all three of these tack knives came with a really decent edge on them. Uh, let me get a piece of cardboard here, and we'll just do a couple of cuts with each one so we don't have cardboard all over. But there you go. S cuts very nicely. Um, these don't have hardly any. I mean, they do move, but it's not like a ridiculous. Here you go. I'm going to do it to the mic. can hear a tiny bit of rattle when open, when closed, and barely any when open. It's, they are really done well the fit and you can see the way it comes out of there really nice good thin stock um you know just for what you're for the price and what you're getting this is impressive now what is the price that's we're already four minutes in uh, 175 dollars for this one now this is d2 59 to 60 um and this one is black as you can see there on the blade as well um, the handle material is 6061 T6 aluminum, uh, black and carbon fiber. Uh, the button is also aluminum alloy, 7.76 inches, 3.25 inch blade, uh, 0.12 on the blade stock and 3.1 ounces and $175. So that's the first one. Tell you what, instead of having it up on the stand, we'll just lay it flat. Uh, 
this way. All right, the second one, uh, let's let's do uh, the medium. Now, these are all, by the way, from the TAC knives. By the way, that one was called the TK Pro Double a TK Pro Double Action OTF Barracuda Warncliffe. That was the one I just showed. This guy is the TK Pro Double Action OTF Barracuda Warncliffe. Okay, so this one is the TAC Knives TK Pro Double Action OTF Hornet Warncliffe. Now, the button is not up, the slide is not up here, it's on the side. And again, you've got really good snappy action um, comes out. Now, my son pointed out, my left-handed son, this is not good for lefties. Uh, it's just, you know, I get, yeah, it's just not good for lefties. You can do it this way, but now the blade's upside down. Uh, so this is more of a righty knife. Um, and they didn't bother to put, uh, the pocket clip on that side because they knew that. Now you have a, uh, kind of a milled out, um, skull cracker slash, uh, glass breaker here. You do have that same pocket clip in silver, but now we have black screws and black screws all around, but a silver button. So again, interesting choices. I'm not sure which way I'd prefer it, but just interesting. Now, by the way, I didn't really mention because I was so hung up on the carbon fiber, the um, inlays are done well. There's really no, you don't feel the seams. Same thing goes for this one. Same not good carbon fiber. Now there is on this one, it's a little deeper on this side and you can kind of get a lip there, but not bad. Um, these are, I mean, these are well done. Now you saw, look at, look at this action. Really good. Now look, tiny bit of side to side, tiny bit of up and down when closed, barely any rattle. And it, this one, guys, is $169.95. Now, I actually prefer this one as a righty over the others. And again, you're still uh, there with that good cutting. Um, hold on. Dra wrapping around here. Still got has a nice edge. Cuts really, really nicely. Nice, sharp edge. Good finish. This one has a satin finish on it. Crazy looking swedge here. Uh, ergonomics on all of these are pretty good. You do feel the clip. I didn't say that on this one. Yep, you do feel the clip a little bit, but not a hot spot. This one, you feel the clip a little bit more because it's smaller. Um, I do at least. But if but they feel good. The 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 traction is good. They feel good, and again, just as snappy as they can be. So there's that one as compared to the first one. Lay flat. All right. And that one, by the way, let's just talk about it. <clears throat> that, by the way, the first one's D2. This one is 154. 59 to 60, same materials, aluminum alloy and um, carbon fiber, 7 inches, uh, 2.75 inch blade, uh, 0.12 on the stock, and 2.9 ounces. Now, in the case of this one, it says that one is made by best tech let me go back and see did the first one tell me who it was made by i'm gonna go look nope first one does not say second one says best tech and guys if that's best tech that is absolutely fantastic all right well well done by best tech now we got this little mini guy here man we are i am again my lighting is causing me to have issues and now we're struggling with focus Again, when I moved everything around and it had been really nice, and now I'm going to bore you guys with that. But this one, really tiny. Now, a different pocket clip. It does go close to the end. You do have about that much sticking out, and you got this screw-on um, uh, glass breaker slash skull cracker slash whatever. Uh, it looks like you could take that one off as opposed to the other two. You have standoffs on your pocket clip. We'll talk about that in a minute. And it only goes on that side. Now there is no carbon fiber on this guy. Hold on. I'm going to move my light just slightly. Give me a second. Actually, I'm going to first, I'm going to move the camera slightly and then I'm going to move the light slightly. And hopefully that will help us with our focus issues. And you're going to probably hear me banging the microphone. There you go. All right. So let's see. See if they, all right, way better. All right. We're going to stick with that. I think we got it. I'm sorry, guys. So you got this aluminum with these really nice uh, milling areas here. Um, and again, another 
Warncliffe blade, and it looks just like that that second one there. Same style of blade. They're all three the same. Uh, yeah, they're all three the same, except that one's black coated. Uh, same satin on this one. And then right when I get excited, all right, TK logo there. 154 cm. By the way, I didn't talk about that. No logo on this one, and only 154 cm. TK logo on this one and uh, D2. So that's billboarding wise, they're pretty good. Now, this guy is tiny. I, I have a hard time getting a really good grip on this one. Um, I do get four fingers, but barely. Um, I don't really prefer the size of this one. Now it does still operate pretty well. Uh, not bad at all now. Yeah, a little bit of side to side and up and down, but no rattle to speak of. So cool that they've eliminated that rattle. Now, if I had to guess, I would probably guess that all three of these were made by Best Tech. Let's see if this one says it does not. Uh, this one is only $90. 154cm. Uh, it says Stonewash Blade, but that is satin. So maybe I pulled up the wrong one, but it's okay. Uh, aircraft aluminum on the handle. Stainless steel on the clip. Uh, 5.3. 6.3 inches overall, 3.23 on the handle, 2.4 inches on the blade. The blade uh, thickness is only 2.24, so you have very thin blade stock on this one. By the way, I didn't cut with it. Let's do that. Um, it it, it kind of, this, there we go. Got to get the right angle, I guess, but it, it's, it was did not come as sharp as the other two. Still pretty sharp, though. Not bad at all. I will take that for out of the box. So um, very, very nicely done. And again, the action is great on all three of these. Um, and I said this was going to be a long video, and I was not lying. All right, so let's get them lined up here. There we go. And we will put our Ontario Rat 1 out first. You can see the Rat 1 is way bigger than all three of them. Um, yeah, way bigger. Even the big one is not that big it, it was what was it eight inches yeah i think it was and then this guy is going to be about the size of the middle one um so there you go there are your size comparisons um again it looks like all three of these are available at tack knives website again uh it looks like they have a lot of inventory of different types of knives on tack knives i am not familiar with them uh, but I think they're one to look for. So you guys should definitely, um, you know, keep your eye on tack knives. So really, really cool. And by the way, they have these in different blade shapes. Um, they, I see a Tanto, I see a drop point, and I see the Warncliffe. I'm not sure what else there is, but uh, I bet you there are other options as well. So really, really cool, guys. I'll put links to all three of these uh, down below, and you can check them out. So there you go, Tack Knives, OTFs. Thank Kevin. Thank you, Tack Knives, for sending them. Thank you, Lefty EDC, for letting me check them out. And guys, give us a thumbs up and all the things. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and thank you so much for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.